Hey guys, welcome back to another Texas Outdoors video. As you can see here, uh, we got my buck back from this rifle season. If you haven't checked out that video, go check it out before you watch this one. But uh, uh, we just got the European mount done and I wanted to do the board myself. So we're gonna show you a couple styles that Cody has made before and then we're gonna show you what I'm gonna do and we're gonna take you through uh, what we're doing so you might be able to do it yourself sometime. So, Hope you guys enjoy this video and learn something, and we'll get right into it. When we're trying to film these videos, sometimes it can get pretty interesting. But look at this freaking butt, guys. There's fish. Nice. Seven point. Yes. Oh, guys, look at this fish. All right, guys, so some of the different styles you can do for a European mount. This is actually my first buck, and I found this fence post on my grandparents' property where I shot the buck, and had some old barbed wire. We kind of made it look pretty then, but I uh, got an old, the bullet I shot it with hanging there, and uh, my patch from my hunter's education course, but that's kind of more of a, like a habitat, I guess you would call it, mount. And uh, yeah, so that's the first one you can do that hangs in the wall. And also, this is my buck from uh, last year. And I made this mount out of old barn wood from my grandparents' property. And it hangs on the wall. Or as you can see, you can take these two screws out, spin this around, and it'll sit on a table. And you can uh, put your mount on there. So it's kind of versatile, but. Those are kind of the two uh, styles, and Jacob kind of picked <clears throat> a little bit different of a style. Uh, it's kind of a combination of both if you want to think of it that way. This is an old board you found from your barn on your property, right? Yep, this, this barn was uh, tore down this summer, and it's on the same property where I shot the buck at this rifle season. I think, I think it's pretty cool. It's got a bunch of the old gnarly nails and all kinds of stuff in it but we're gonna we're gonna like i think we're gonna cut off obviously this board's pretty long so we got some room to work with we're, i think we're gonna cut off a piece up here uh we're gonna like sand half of it and burn it and we're gonna like burn one without sanding it just see how everything looks um right now what we think we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it off like right in here somewhere or maybe kind of cut it off so it looks kind of rough a little bit like um jag like, like jagged natural. yeah like natural and uh and see if we want to, like I said, burn it or sand it or what we're going to do. But uh, got a lot of room to work with, so this should be pretty fun. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got uh, this piece cut off here. We got it quartered up. So we're going to sand sand three spots. We're going to leave one sand, the same. Sand two. This will be sanded and burnt. This will be just burnt. This will be sanded. And then this oh, will yeah, just yeah. be left alone. Yeah, so we're going to sand one, leave it alone. Sand one, burn it, and just burn one, and leave one alone, and just see what it looks like, so. All right, guys, so we just finished sanding this half here. Looks pretty cool without any burn to it yet, so. Cody's got the torch in now, and uh, he's gonna burn a quarter of it and see what it looks like. It smells really good. I think it's cedar wood. Yeah. Man. I don't know. I like them all. Mm hmm. I think I'm definitely going to do something to it. I'm not going to leave it just the way it is. Yeah. This I'm looks not, pretty cool. But I think that we, does look cool. I definitely think I'm leaning towards one of the. I, I do like the sanding, sanding yeah. Though. Some stuff coming out of that. Yeah, that's some knots. Old, old sap. I'll clean that up. Or we could even, if you wanted to leave it like this, and you liked a little bit, of it, we could even just take it like just bring around the edges.
It would look like this the whole way around with the corners, but. You know what, I think that's what we'll do. You like that? I think I like sanding it and just burning the edges. Okay. Sounds good. We'll see what it looks like here and then I'll make, I might change it, but I think that's what I want to do, so. I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll sand it <clears throat> and then burn the edges up to kind of hide those fresh cuts and it'll look pretty cool. All right, Jacob's snipping the nails off, try, trying to snip oh. the nails off. <laughs> They're pretty hard to get them old rusty nails out, but he's trying to snip them off and uh, then uh, we'll flip it over and figure it out a little further. All right, guys, so we got these nails um clipped off now as you can see and we're just filing them down a little bit so they'll at least sit a little flatter on the back all right guys so like i said got these nails all figured out now we're gonna make a cut right here just to make it a little smaller and right in here somewhere is where we're gonna like cut um it's not going to be like an even straight across cut. We just want it to make make it look kind of more natural. So Cody's going to take us, make this shorter now with the miter saw and yeah. All right, guys. So got it cut out now to the length that we can mess with here. And as you can see, we... Trace a little bit here, um, just a kind of, you know, a rougher line. So it kind of looks a little more natural and we keep those uh, nails on there. That looks kind of cool. And then we uh, put the deer head there to see how it fits. And then we actually drew a logo, our Texas Outdoor logo. And we're going to wood burn that in right here. And then we're going to wood burn the date I shot the buck right here so i think it'll look pretty cool and next step we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut out right here on this line so we'll get into that I think that looks pretty cool. Just makes it look. We'll sand it, natural. sand it up a little bit, and kind of yeah. it'll and break. We, it'll break the wood like mm -hmm. this a little bit. And when we and when we burn it too, it'll that fresh cut will go away. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Sorry about the air we got running now. It's pretty uh, cold out here in the shed, so we got some heat running. But as you can see, we got this taped on. We put the head on there just to see uh, where we wanted this to be. And now we got it in the spot we want it. And we're tracing it out here with the wood burner. And it should turn out pretty nice. All right guys, so as you can see, got her all burned and gonna peel off the tape and it's gonna need some touching up on reveal yeah it's kind of like beady just because he was trying to get through the paper and everything but he'll be able to touch it up now that the lines are all there ready to see what he looks like oh yeah oh yeah that's awesome that's pretty cool. Got our logo burned on there. I'm going to put the date on this side. Yep. Touch this up a little bit. That looks pretty sweet. As you guys can see, Cody's now tracing our numbers that I wrote here for the date of when we shot the deer. Alright guys, so Here's the finished product as far as the board goes. I know this doesn't look centered or anything, but 
we centered it based off of these uh, the logo and our date there so the deer head will split those uh, as you can see we got two nails up here that we kind of bent we had to mess with it a lot uh, to get it to sit right and we got this block here just to kind of help the head uh, lean the way we want it to instead of sitting instead of just sitting flat like on this, it like that it'd be like this yeah so it looks kind of weird like this but when the head when the skull's on there it looks a lot better so go ahead and put the skull on there Cody As you can see, you can mess with it a little bit to make it straighter. Looks pretty cool. So that's how it'll look hanging on the wall. I think we did a good job down here on this just to make it look pretty natural. So yeah, just an old piece of barn wood, sanded it down. We didn't end up burning the edges. I don't know if I said anything about that yet. I like the old red paint you could see on there because it was a red barn. So we decided just to keep that there. We did burn the bottom here because that was a fresh cut just to make it look darker and uh, more natural. But that's our finished product. And if you guys want to try it out, you can uh, do it yourself. We didn't really copy this from anyone else. Uh, this is just kind of our idea based off of a bunch of other ideas. So That's the fun thing with these European mounts is you can really get creative. Oh, yeah. And you can really do whatever you want. Yep. I think it's pretty cool how we got the old nails still in there that we cut off from the back. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hopefully it'll look good hanging on the wall too. Alright guys, so here's how the mount looks hanging on the wall down here in our room that we have with all of our deer and mounts and stuff. So thought it turned out pretty well and uh, it wasn't too hard to make. Fun and, to make. Yeah, it was fun to make. They're always fun to make, and you can get pretty creative with them. So that's how our mount turned out, and looks nice. So I hope you guys uh, learned something. Maybe you want to, you know, take a page out of our book and do something like this with uh, one of your mounts. And I hope you guys uh, go check us out on Instagram and tune in again for when we make more videos. So. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. All takes all outdoors.